All right, I had a question about how I had the 891 do an FT8 without um, Signalink. And the, the answer to that is uh, this little USB sound card right here. Um, I've got my data cable connected to the USB sound card. And the data cable it runs right up here. Got a mess of wires. But it runs right into the, uh, the RTTY data plug on the uh, back of the radio. And uh, this white cord that you see right here. It is the, um, the cat control cable. Let's see if we can get zoomed in a little bit more here. Um, let's see. Just kind of got everything turned up on it. But um, let's see. All right. I've got the, the tuner hooked up. Uh, th this plug right here is the, uh, for the tuner. As you can see the diagram on the bottom of the radio, the tuner and the uh, the ALC goes over here to the the tuner, and um, the RTTY the data it goes and it runs over to the USB sound card that is plugged in right there, and uh, it's all conveniently uh, labeled. Uh, your data output is going to be your microphone. And your data input is going to be your, your speakers. And um, that is how I've got that hooked up. And um, as, far as, uh, as far as the settings go, your main settings are going to be, um, let's see here. Hold on real quick. Let me pause this and get the radio set down. And I'll go back over the, uh, the settings. But this way right here, the way I've got it set up, the way you're going to want to um, transmit on FT8 is through sideband. And um, I found some settings that are really helpful for, um, for, for FT8 with the, with the 891 because um, I've tried many different ways and I could not get it to work. And one day it just took uh, you know a while playing around with different settings and reading through different forms and how other people had success. Um, I really didn't want to buy a signal link um, because I've seen where people had used um, just the, the USB uh, sound card over here, just straight into the, um, the, com the computer USB port there. But uh, all right, let me pause this and we'll get it turned around and we'll go over the settings real quick. All right, well, here is the, uh, the website. Sorry, I'm back behind the camera here trying to look at the screen through the camera uh let's see here so these are the settings that you're going to want to uh have on your radio um with the uh, you know let's see here the most important when you're operating sideband uh ft8 um because data just do, data mode just does, does not work for this radio i'm not really sure why but um Let's see here. If you go into um, your settings and kind of just mimic everything here, and uh, I found that all these settings work great, um, work absolutely great. But um, right here is the the important thing is for the uh, 1105. You switch your your mic input to rear. Um, don't leave it on mic. Put it on rear. That is very 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 important right here. This one right here. And also, um, 1107, um, you want to change your, the BFO there to, uh, to upper sideband. Um, it'll be on auto. And when you go back to regular operation of the radio, not FT8, um, you want to go back and just change those two settings. You can leave everything else alone, and um, you should be just fine. But let's see here. Let's see, 1107 is a select for the... SSB. So, so that's the uh, when you're when you're operating the WSJTX there. That is what makes um, that that's what makes it work on sideband from my experience here. And uh, this is um let's see the FT891 at groups.io and um, it's not very far down the the list here. Um, but this has been the the biggest help. 
and uh, the original poster, he goes through some of the, uh, some different information. But that is how I've got it to work. Um, honestly, that's the only way I've got it to work with the, uh, the USB, um, the USB uh, sound card. That's the, uh, the, the easiest way I can uh, do it, or uh, the easiest way I can put it out there, um, like I said, um, I do apologize for not uh, clarifying how I hooked it up, and uh, just uh, just a, a little test here to show you that it does work. Um, let's see, everything's hooked up, set up. Um, I'm on 17 right now, and... Uh, I'd actually just cut the radio off and was <laughs> getting ready to head back to the house when uh, when I saw that I had a comment come up. So here are some uh, some messages incoming. Um, let's see. Seventeen's really really been active today, but uh, some U.S. stations: France, Italy. Um, let's throw a CQ out there. And see if we get a, a bite back real quick. Um, what's a ham radio video without a little bit of a uh, little bit of TX, huh? But as far as uh, the 891 goes, I've really I've really grown to love the radio. It's a uh, just absolutely outstanding rig. Love it. Something else you want to make sure when you're on, when you're transmitting FT8 is, uh, excuse the shakiness, let's uh, spin around, is you want to make sure that you monitor your ALC while transmitting. And, uh, oh, we got a bite back. Um, but you want to make sure you're, like, right now my, my ALC is, is pretty low. So what you want to do with that is go into your um, your settings on your computer, and you just want to tweak your settings just a just a hair. Let's see. We'll go on and log this contact real quick. Pretty cool, or not log it? Just go ahead and get everything lined up to log. But um, that's basically it, guys. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's just uh, the information's out there. It's just um, a matter of fact of getting it, getting to the information and putting it into use with with your with your radio with your equipment, and um, that's. Uh, that, that's really that's all there is to it really and I'm just doing 30 watts right now um, you want to make sure that on your settings in your radio um, you want to make sure that uh, your your settings um, let's see here gotta unlock the radio here but uh, you just want to make sure that you want to go in I think all right the menu setting for that is uh, 16. 01 and you want to make sure you go into your um, radio settings and what I do is uh, I just have the, the sideband power down and I always keep my my uh, my HF power down all the way to 5 watts um, I keep my HF AM power all the way down at 5 watts uh, HF power here down at five watts. Um, six meter band, I have my power at 100, um, but six meter AM, five watts, uh, six watts, or uh, gosh, six meter is at uh, 100 watts, but um, I hardly ever use six meters. It's been dead lately, so I hadn't really messed with it any. But um, and then that way on, on this radio, all you have to do is uh, what I, what I do. It might be wrong, I don't know. But I'll go over to uh, CW and see if I can zoom out and get a, uh, on the Z100A and 
I'll tune it just like that. Um, I usually put it on SWR when I tune though. Do it like this, hit the tune button. SWR looks great. And then I just go back and so I can monitor the uh, ALC while um, transmitting. It's uh, pretty important there. All right, let's see here. Let's uh, jump back over here to the computer. And... All right, let's see. We want to go down here and open up the, uh, the sound settings. Let's see, open sound settings. And that'll bring us here. Let me get this thing adjusted. All right, and uh, got the uh, the master volume here at around 30. And to adjust uh, your ALC and everything while transmitting, you're gonna want to adjust this master volume just a hair. I usually just do it in about increments of five. Um, but let's see here. And as far as the microphone goes, go here, input. All right, and then right here, I'm sorry, let's see, on my computer anyway, you go to device properties, and it's at 40 right now, so I'll just uh, bump it up to about 45. And let's go back here and uh, we'll see what the, uh, the ALC goes to when transmitting. I like it to be about halfway. All right, that's that's it right there. That's about a little bit more than halfway, so you just need to go back into your settings and kind of uh, bump it back down a little bit. That's all you really got to do. So uh, I really hope this helps. Um, kind of went through it fast. Um, if you have any more questions about anything, just uh, just leave me a comment, you know, and I'll do my best to uh, to get back to you and um, try to to clarify anything that doesn't really <laughs> make sense. I'm still learning, um, and I've just kind of been learning as I go and uh, learn through doing, and that's that's the the biggest thing for me. I just kind of kind of just learn as, as I go but uh thanks for watching and um let's see got some more got some more contacts rolling in here so I guess I'll say seven three god bless and uh, lord willing we'll catch you back next time